snack state of the industry report fuels snack growth. What I find the most compelling about Snack's latest report was not about the move towards health or better ingredients or non-GMO, but rather their understanding of how the purchasing and consumption behaviors of consumers have changed. In the past, there were two ways consumers purchased and consumed snacks, planned and impulse. We now have identified two additional factors, on-demand and experiential. Sally Lyons Wyatt, EVP and practice leader of Client Insights of IRI said, Producers must consider all four factors when innovating and marketing products. Getting snacks in the hands of consumers is vital. Producers must reach them in the places that they frequent, including airports and gyms. Snacks are even showing up in the back of Ubers. Using your smartphone, passengers can purchase snacks in the tray and fulfill their craving while they ride. That according to Jared Coton, Industry Manager of Food and Nutrition of Euromonitor International. Pop-up dining experiences offer a culinary adventure, engaging the consumer in increasing brand awareness. Snack availability generates more snacking occasions, increasing the opportunity for more experiential snacking, which excites consumers and drives consumption. Limited time offers and specialty branding can effectively create this experience. Shelf-stable products are evolving to be fresher. Distribution models are allowing them to get directly to the consumer faster. On-the-go consumers don't want to prepare meals after work. Innovation with fresh, real food options like adult snack trays and combo packs help producers compete. Price, packaging, and convenience all influence consumer choice. Price is the number one factor guiding consumer shopping habits, according to IRI. Product labels and packaging rank number three.